can see the gents in Paris, Asanati and Ricardo. Can you see them? Can you hear them? They have finally arrived. They can see them. All right, colleagues, apologies for the delay. Uh, the guys have just come back from a field session in, in Paris. Um, I'm not going to waste any time. Um, but like I said, you can pump them with questions for the ascent. Uh, whoever wants to kick us off can, can go. Well, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to start if you don't mind. Guys, what's the weather like there? What are the conditions? How was the session today? Yeah, thanks, Sam. Um, yeah, just from our side, apologies for the just for being late. Um, yeah, we got stuck uh, stuck in traffic, and uh, yeah, we went a little bit longer with our field session. But um, the weather-wise, it's been cold the last two days, freezing. Uh, but uh, yeah, so far it's been a good week for us. Asa, are you enjoying the sights of Paris so far? If you've seen anything? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, really enjoying Paris so far. I accept the weather. Uh, it's <laughs> really been cold, like Coach said, the, the last two days. But uh, it's, yeah, it's been really fun going around Paris and seeing some cool stuff. All right, colleagues, uh, over to you. Morgan. Thanks. Uh, hi, Coach. Um, How's it been? Like, how are you? I uh, hope you guys are doing well over there. Um, just a quick one. Uh, I'll ask a bit later again. Uh, just an injury update. Uh, is Henka going to be ready for uh, Saturday? Um, same with Jordan. Yeah, we have just on Anku, um, it's some good news. Um, we started today with the with agility work and uh, he joined us for, for units. Uh, but um, Doc and, um, and Pam, our physio, will, they will make a final call on Thursday. Um, Jordi, uh, he's also busy with straight line running. Morgan, the same one with his, with, with his groin. Um, there's a little bit of concern about, uh, with regards to him, Ruan Fenter. Uh, but yeah, that's I think that's good news for us in terms of Jordan, uh, Morgan, and and Hanku. Are there any other injury concerns? Yeah, no, not at this moment. Yeah. Thanks, Morgan. Can you raise our hands, guys, to see who's next? We'll go with Ross and then Morgan again. How's it, guys? How's it, guys? Um, Ricardo, obviously a bit of a rough time at the moment, three big losses. Uh, what is the feeling in the camp leading up to this game? And uh, are the guys sort of tried, uh, fired up to try and uh, turn things around? Yeah, 100%, uh, Ross. Uh, yeah, thanks for your question. Um, uh, we know it's been, a, yeah, the last few games been, it's been really tough for us uh, on the road, uh, but I think the spirits are high. A lot of introspection uh, with regards to what uh, what we need to do and how can we turn uh, things around. Uh, from a tech point of view, we just uh, talked a little bit about uh, just decision making, um, be creating opportunities, and uh, yeah, it's always good when you, you when you get those pictures. But uh, what what we need to do is once we get into the 22, the goal zone for us is, is just about being more clinical. Uh, defensively, is about just about making our tackles, and uh, yeah, I think the the, the willingness and uh, the commitment is there to to turn things around. Great, and uh, also from your side, um, obviously you've uh, been thrown into the mix there with uh, Ruan and Ste unavailable. Um, how's it been in the boiler pot there of the front row, um, and uh, how was it on the? Uh, artificial pitch this past weekend and will you guys be playing on another artificial pitch this weekend? Yeah, I think so. I think we'll be playing mm -hmm. on another a pitch like that. But I think uh, the opportunity for me myself has been great. I think we've got a great system here at the Lions where uh, we truly pace with tight head, uh, head props. Uh, you can look at the likes of Ruan Dreyer, the Ruan Smith and myself and guys that come under me. So I think it was very good. I gave myself confident. Uh, I really felt good this weekend. And hopefully we can carry that performance over this weekend again. And just on playing on the artificial pitch, has that uh, made you guys change up the way you do things a bit? And uh, are you get, sort of getting used to it, especially with a few more games on that, the rest of this tour? Yeah, of course, you have to change things up a little bit. It's not the same as, um, I mean, you don't get the same grip as you do on a normal grass. So you have to adapt in the game quickly and um yeah, you have to quickly adapt, uh, otherwise you will find yourself in trouble. I think that which this weekend we adapted quickly than Monster, so um, hopefully we can do the same. 
Morgs? Thanks. Uh, yeah, Coach, this one's for you again. Um, uh, the last few weeks, you guys have been really battling on attack. I think, if I'm not mistaken, you've scored one try in the last three matches. Um, it obviously must be a concern for you. What is going gone wrong there? Is it a system error? Are the guys not applying themselves in attack? Um, or is it just basics that are failing you guys at the moment when you've got the ball in hand? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a mixture of, uh, of a lot of things. Um, we just touched a little bit on our, we need we need a good good base to attack from, our set piece, that's one. And um, if you look at teams uh, just applying a rush defence, um, stopping our, our ball carries behind the gain line. So that's one of the things we, we discussed or, or work on for us this weekend is to work on our ball carries, uh, getting quick ball. And once we get in behind it, behind teams, it's all about making good decisions and being more clinical. So uh, good set piece, uh, get get momentum, get gain line, making good decisions and uh, just finishing our opportunities. So we, the last two days, that's been a focus for us. It's just uh, that final pause, that final play, identify uh, space and uh, exploiting space. That's been a focus for us. If I can just Thanks. follow that on, uh, yes, sorry, yeah. sorry, I can just follow that on. You uh, spoke now briefly about the ball carriers. I noticed against uh, Munster, uh, the guys that are supposed to take the ball up, they're not getting the generating the forward uh, momentum as much as possible. Is that just because of a one-off runners, or is there supposed to be a system where the guys are running off of each other's shoulders, uh, mm -hmm. if I can put it that way? And then the other uh, uh, thing that I noticed, um, and you just mentioned uh, briefly, and it just, just slipped out of my mind. Sorry, can you just uh, go with the first question quickly, and then I'll think about what I wanted to ask. Yeah, yeah, spot on. Uh, we talked about uh, we're a little bit static uh, on attack, especially in our what we call our string, uh, our shape of nine and ten. Um, teams are clever; they're a little bit smarter. Yeah, they they tackle you behind the gain line. So we um, uh, the solution for us is to be a little bit more in motion. So we we started with small sided games to address that. The last two days, uh, we just want our forwards to be in motion and uh, yeah, and, and shifting the point of contact. Uh, Munster, what they got right is they tackled us behind the gain line. Um, you didn't have a lot of variation in our in, our, in attack, meeting, shifting the point of contact. So yeah, credit to them. Uh, but that's that will be a focus for us going into the start for say game. Thanks, Morgan. Liam. Hi, how's it, guys? Sorry, uh, mute button is hidden okay. for a second. Hope you well. Um, Mike, I know this is the Challenge Cup and it, it's uh, supposed to present your challenges in different uh, sort of disciplines. Um, but the challenge of sort of preparing yourself for, for, for matches in this competition where the opposition may not uh, sort of put all their focus or put all their eggs in one basket for this particular competition. How difficult is it to prepare, uh, you know, under those circumstances? Because, I mean, if you look at... Uh, you normally go about your business if you played in the URC or the Curry Cup. You know, it's all in and it's all guns blazing. Uh, but you know the opposition will be the same. Um, so just from a sort of a psychological uh, sort of point of view, how difficult is it to sort of uh, get yourself into sort of proper uh, match condition? No, uh, thanks, Liam, for your question. No, I don't think it's difficult uh, to answer your question because for us it's, um, it's about uh, just getting back to... Uh, getting good results or get a get a win on the weekend. So um, what we don't have we don't have control over whether Stade Francais will play their the best team. But for, yeah, for us is just make sure we prepare well and uh, just get a good result uh, on the weekend. And from a player's perspective, Asa? Yeah, I think for us we can only control what's controllable. Like I like coach said, now um, we can't control what Stade Francais bring on the weekend, but. Um, so it's, it's a different competition in a way, but our preparation stays the same. Uh, we don't change anything from our side, so we keep everything the same. So, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Liam. Do you have any other questions, guys? Ross? Thanks, Shnei. So, um, also just on that as well, on the players' perspective, um, this is obviously uh, many players' first time playing in France. Is it a little bit different to what you guys have experienced in uh, the UK? Or is it uh, pretty similar and something that you guys have been able to adapt to pretty quickly? I think the conditions are pretty much similar. Um, playing styles slightly different. I think the French are a bit more physical, a bit more around the rocks. So with, with the UK side, it's more flair. 
throw the ball around a bit more. I think uh, it's different challenges, but yeah, something that we can all handle. So, yeah. And uh, Ricardo, obviously, uh, uh, State Frontier come into the game in some hot form. You know, they've won th uh, three big wins in their last three games. Uh, that must be a bit daunting. Um, is that something, have the guys been looking at sort of the game footage from those matches and do they have a good idea of what to expect? Yeah, definitely. Uh, they're on a high. Um, second on the, uh, on the uh, top 14 log, if I got it right. But um, the one thing uh, from experience um, is that stuff and say is a different team at home. Um, at home, more more passionate. Um, they want to make sure they they put a, a, a spectacle up for the for the fans, and they want to entertain. So we expect a sort of a kicking game to to start off. But they they will also bring the French flair. A very difficult team at home. Uh, so for us, it's all about that, making sure we expect uh, go into the game with the right mindset. Uh, they want to have a good start uh, from our side is to make sure that we. We handled that well, that first, that first 20 minutes. And obviously, we want to go out with attacking mindset. We want to play against them and, uh, yeah, see whether we can shift the point of contact. Coach Ricardo, you've coached them before. Um, how's your style changed over the years since you've left? Yeah, I think they you look at it, they've got different coaches now, but the, the, the ball in hand approach is still there. But they don't play a lot of rugby in the half. Um, it's all about uh, kicking in behind you and then forcing you to make errors. Uh, but once they they get into your half or they're getting scraps from those kicks, they're, yeah, they're dangerous. They've got good runners. They've got individuals that can uh, just open up the game. Game breakers, uh, a good nine and ten, uh, very physical forwards. Um, yeah, I think for us this week is more to, to focus on ourselves and uh, yeah, just make sure we prepare well and um, yeah, get our game plan around. Any other questions, guys? Everyone happy? I, um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, sorry, yes, Nathan. Yeah, I, sure. I don't know if my connection is, is proper this side. I'm sitting in load shedding. Um, I, I just have a, a question for Ricardo, please. Um, yes. Do you see this game as as the one that you can possibly kickstart that away wins? Um, seeing that you have a couple more to go in January. Um, just to kickstart um, uh, that, that away wins, um, seeing that you, you lost a couple uh, over the same as well. 100%, uh, definitely. Um, so uh, I think the looking at our performance, the previous game against them, um, yeah, we I think we, we had a good start, um, early scoreboard pressure, um, but we know they're a team that can, they also love to, to run with the ball, they can attack from anywhere. Uh, but uh, for us, it's just to make sure that we prepare well uh, get our systems right, uh, have the discipline to make sure we stick to our systems. All right. Uh, anything else, guys? Happiness. Okay. All right, colleagues. Okay. Uh, Ricardo, Asa, thanks very much, and uh, we'll chat soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks, James. Thank you. Cheers. Well, well. Hold on, Asa.